Hello everyone, for my casting projects I usually use homemade molding sand. I want to improve the quality of my castings, so I decided to buy commercial sand for casting. And I also want to compare this oil sand with the cement and oil I mixed. And I also will be comparing this commercial green sand with the green sand I made myself. And also for quality comparison I'll make one with the sodium silicate mixed with sand. Next I'll be drying the Mons Bond oil sand. I'll be comparing the Mansbond oil sand with the cement and oil mix that I made. Now to the green sand. This is reg this is regular sand mixed with bentonite clay. And this is Rooms Grave commercial green sand. This has plenty moisture in it, maybe a bit too much. But I'll still try it without drying it. But as you can see, this is way too dry. And here are all the samples. This is sand mixed with sodium silicate and hardened with CO2 gas. My homemade green sand, the commercial Brooms Grave green sand, Man's Bond oil sand and cement mixed with oil. When it's time to pour I'll bring these outside because they produce quite a nasty smoke. And now to the fun part, lighting the furnace and melting some metal.
that was unprofessional. I think it's time to start opening the mold. And these are the results. Let's start with the worst. I think the casting with the worst finish is the homemade green sand. The surface finish is quite rough and uneven. Surprisingly, next comes the cement mixed with oil. This time the surface looks a bit more rough and I don't know how to explain this. Maybe there's too much oil in the mixture, but last time that didn't happen, so I'm not quite sure about that mixture. So next comes the sand mixed with sodium silicate. As usual, loose sand kernels got into the molten aluminum and formed pitting. Next is the commercial green sand. It also picked up some sand kernels, which resulted in pitting, but the surface as all well is much smoother. And by far the best quality is from the Anton oil sand. The surface finish is quite smooth. The only pitting is where I made the gate. So maybe I didn't smooth it out as well as I should. I'm not that surprised about the results. So maybe it is worth paying the extra bucks to get better quality. So to improve the quality of my castings, I'll be buying more of this Mansbond oil sand. I hope this video was useful at least for someone. Thanks for watching and see you on the next metal melting project.